Hey you guys, it is really cold. It's 20 degrees, negative eight Celsius. It's really windy. The wind is whipping around and I'm tucked in the woods trying to get out of it. You know, one of the biggest mistakes people will make during the winter time is having cold feet. They'll forego outdoor activities in the great outdoors. Instead, they'll stay home watching TV. They'll wait patiently or unpatiently for the winter to end, hoping and praying for warm weather. Now those days are over because I have three tips that are going to greatly increase the warmth in your feet so you will be able to step back in the great outdoors with toasty warm feet. And also at the end I got a tip that you're going to be surprised about. Now the first big mistake that people would often make when they're buying a winter boot or cold weather boot is getting one in the exact same shoe size that they wear. Some people would say, hey, wait a minute, Marine. I have a size seven and high heels. Why wouldn't I have my winter boots in size seven? Well, I'll tell you what, you're not wearing those high heels in that frigid cold and in the snow. You always wanna get your winter boots one to two size larger. You never want them snug or tight fitting especially in the toe box, you want them toes to be able to move up and down freely. Now a big misconception is when people get a boot that has high insulation value to it, they think that with the insulated part of the boot against your feet, it's gonna help keep your feet warm, but that's counterproductive. You want these little gaps or pockets in there to trap the warm air in there to help keep your feet warm. It's kind of like the same concept as down. Down has to loft and trap that warm air to keep your body warm. When it is flattened, you will get cold. But you also don't want them so loose fitting that your feet are really sloppy in there and you can't walk in them. But one thing I really recommend is, a lot of people like to buy online. When you purchase a winter or cold weather boot, go to a big box store that has many brands and types of boots. Pick every one of them out. Don't go looking for just one. Try them all. Walk around with each of them and find the one that's the most comfortable fitting and look for one that has a big toe box. Now one thing that's very important, make sure you bring the thickest pair of wool socks that you have. And if you didn't bring one, go to the store and buy one or borrow one. Put those thick pair of wool socks on, walk around, make sure your feet are comfortable, your toes wiggle in the toe box. And you guys, if you don't do this and you just bring a regular pair of socks and you buy those boots, when you go to put those thick pair of wool socks on, when the cold weather comes and the temperatures drop and you go outside, your boot's going to be too tight and your feet are going to get cold. Now the second biggest mistake people often make is wearing more than one sock. They think if I put two or three socks on, my feet will be warmer, more insulation, but it's totally the opposite. Now you're going to think, well, I have a boot that's one size larger. I should be able to put two or three pairs of socks on. But I'm telling you, when you put one sock over another sock over another sock, it constricts and it tightens around your feet and it will restrict the warm blood flow getting into your feet to keep it warm. The less the blood flow, the colder your feet are going to become. Next, you take those feet with three pairs of socks on, you try to jam them in that boot, you push and shove and you squeeze until you finally get them in there, and after a short period of time, your feet start to get numb. And what your foot is trying to tell you, you took a perfectly good pair of warm boots and made them worthless as you're standing there with your feet cold. Now, has anyone ever done this before? Now the only time I'd use more than one pair of sock is with a vapor barrier sock. And that's when you're doing a winter trek, multiple day trip out into the wilderness. When your feet begins to sweat, the vapor barrier sock will keep the moisture inside it. So the inside of your boot will stay dry instead of becoming wet. But otherwise, always wear a light to medium pair of sock when you're moving like snowshoeing, hiking, skiing, or any activities where you're out and about. And then a thick pair of wool socks when you're not moving, when you're at camp, sitting by the fire, or you're ice fishing. Henry, come here. Get him, get him. Oh, yeah, I saw him. Very good. 
Now some people yeah. like merino wool, other people like rag wool. Either one is just fine, but make sure you try to get it to 100% wool. And again, wear more than one pair of sock will fill in those gaps or pockets inside your boot that traps the warm air. Besides having a cheap crappy pair of winter boots, a huge reason why our feet get cold is because of the restriction of the blood flow to our feet to help keep it warm. Which brings us to the third biggest mistake people often make with winter boots. And that's lacing your boots too tight. A winter boot should hug your feet comfortably, providing both support and insulation. A looser boot will greatly increase warmth and comfort, but it could cause problems when you're walking long distance. But a tightly laced boot could cause circulation problems. Now with that being said, when you're moving around like skiing, snowshoeing, or hiking, you want those boots snug around your foot, but not too tight. But when you're doing activities where you're not moving around like ice fishing, sitting by a fire, or even in a hockey rink watching your kid play in a cold arena, you want those boots to be loose fitting, to have those little pockets in there and your feet can wiggle around in there and it'll trap that warm air. Another reason why your feet are warm in a loose fitting pair of boots is that your foot will flex and move around inside the boot. It's like wearing a pair of mucklucks and they're great cold weather boots. And the reason why is they flex up and down, your feet move around, which will greatly increase the circulation to help keep your feet warmer. Now for the tip, and a lot of people are unaware of this, when you're not moving around and you're standing on a cold surface, be snow, ice, or concrete, that coldness will creep up from that surface through the bottom of your boot and your foot will start getting cold by the minute. In most cases, you're going to need a little extra insulation between the cold surface and your foot. And one way of doing it is you can take a wool felt liner, put it inside your boot. Also, you can cut reflectic to the shape of your foot to make an insole. But the problem is if you don't have a boot that's two sizes larger or big enough to hold that insole in there, it'll start cramping your feet again and making it a tight fitting and it'll be counterproductive. Now you don't want your feet to be cramped inside. And if you don't have extra room for those insoles, what you do is you take a closed foam mat, you cut it to size and you put it on that cold surface and you stand on it. You'd be surprised how this will insulate that cold surface from coming up into your boot and this will help keep your feet warm. You'll be amazed how well this works. Now you guys, I hope you try these suggestions that I gave you to keep your feet warm this winter so you can get out there and enjoy those activities. I have done other episodes on how to stay warm during the cold winter months, so check them out. And if you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. I'd love to hear from you. This is the Marine. Thank you for watching and God bless.